Hey everyone, Cherry here. This is a video in which I will be unpacking my suitcase from Anime Festival Orlando and talking about the stuff that is in my suitcase. <laughs> okay, so I've always wanted to do like an unpack with me video and I never really got around to doing it, but I figured that I would just do it and see how it goes. I like watching these types of videos. I think it's cool. Okay, when you think about it, it is really weird. The things that um, we like to watch on YouTube are very weird when you describe it. Like, I like to watch people eat. I like to watch people play with slime. I like to watch people play video games. Like, if you think about it, it sounds really weird. But um, we all have our, our things that um, get us ticking. So maybe this is one of those for you. This is my small suitcase. I actually had other bags that I was carrying stuff in, but this is my main suitcase. So this suitcase, I don't know if anyone cares, but my mom got this suitcase in the Philippines when she went to the Philippines and she needed another suitcase, so that's where this came from. And the funny thing about it is that um, I tied this because these are, um, this, the suitcase has two zippers, so it's like you can open it different ways. Basically, if you open it this way, it gets jammed, so I tied this thing so no one would accidentally open it this way and get jammed, so I only use this side. That's what that's for. <laughs> okay, so basically this is my suitcase that I used when I was backstage doing my costume changes. And I used this little suitcase last year at Holiday Matsuri when it was Friday and I was doing um, three different things in main events and so I brought my outfits there so I didn't have to go back and forth to the hotel room to change and I could just change backstage. It made me feel super legit. And I also put my friend Skylar's costumes in here as well. So pro tip, if you are someone that does uh, performances at a convention then um, or if you have like multiple cosplays or something if you just get like a small suitcase um, this one has the four wheels so it rolls easier if you just carry it around with you I mean it's really not that much of a hassle and it's a lot easier than going up and down to your hotel room because that takes up so much time and it's just a hassle so if you just carry a bunch of stuff with you if you are going to do any sort of costume change or outfit change throughout the day just carrying it with you go in the bathroom it's easy so let's open it up up. This is gonna be a mess because I just tossed everything in here. Should we adjust this? By the way, um, this is what my house looks like. I live with my mom, so I have really not much say in the interior design. That's why we're kind of clashing. Um, and we have animal print. Meow! So this is the inside of the suitcase. We got these little, you know, that. Here we go. <laughs> This is fun. I'm excited because I haven't looked at this. It's been two weeks. Has it been three weeks? Oh, it's been two. It's been two weeks since the uh, the night. These are really handy. They're, they're fairly inexpensive. And here's the thing. When I like to pack stuff, I like to individualize things. So it's like if I'm going to a convention, I like to divide up the outfits and the costumes in plastic bags. But then I wanted something that was reusable. Well, I mean, the plastic bag is reusable. But it's like kind of annoying because it's like they are all they're like see-through but not really see-through and then sometimes i would get like I, if i'm in a if i was in a rush i would have to like go through all the different plastic bags and then find the one with my outfits i like to put my outfits in there and also i just said that and then also my shoes because i don't like listen here okay i'm going on a tangent on a tangent but if you put your shoes straight up in your suitcase with no plastic bag or anything on it like you walked around on the ground with those shoes and then you dump them into your bag and you don't I judge you I judge my close friends okay don't do that that's so dirty freaking heck that's so dirty like you're just not taking care of your stuff anyway so I like to do that and so I but then I was like maybe I should just get something that will last longer so I don't have to keep using plastic different plastic bags and, you know they would rip and stuff I mean I would use the same plastic bags for like garbage and stuff I got this thing <laughs> and this came in like a, a set um, and it's just like a travel traveling um, pouch thing you put clothes in it you can put anything so you can organize all your different stuff so originally I had different outfits in these different things but then at the end of the show, I just dumped it all in here. So we have this. I got the color pink because I like the color pink. There's different colors I saw online. All you have to do is search like travel organizer, stuff like that. You'll find it. So in here we have 
this. It looks. Why does this look suggestive? It's just like a um 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 headband but i used it as a choker because it's just easy um yeah that's this and earrings i was gonna wear but didn't wear next up is this headband i wore this when i did my cover of kuroi tenshi by akb48 and i think i did pretty good on that song like I think that was the one song that I performed pretty well on. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it was part of an idol cover concert at Anime Festival Orlando, so that's what all this stuff is about, but I'm pretty sure you should know what that's about if you watch this channel, and I don't really see why you'd be interested in this if you didn't know what I was talking about, but if you are, that's pretty cool and surprising. I got this at Family Dollar a long time ago. Um, I don't know how many years ago, but yeah, it was from Family Dollar, and I don't even know, like a dollar, two dollars, you know? I love cheap accessories. These are what I do. I put my shoes in a Walmart bag and then I put them in here. If you put the shoes by themselves in here, that is so dirty and it's gonna like mess up all your other stuff. Stop doing that. I nag my friends all the time about that. Jeez. But anyways, these shoes is what these are what I wore when I did Teacher Teacher. I covered the song Teacher Teacher by AKB48. And I got these shoes from Wish. So I got these originally because the white shoes that I wore with my cover group Citrus Idol project were white. We all had white shoes. That was gonna be our thing. The ones I had were too small, so I wanted to get another pair of white shoes that weren't too small and guess what they're still small they're not as small as the other ones i have but they're still small i don't know how i'm gonna if i'm gonna keep on to these if i'm just gonna sell them to someone but i just i just want a white shoe that's not too small that looks like this okay so next is this belt that i've worn in a lot of performances it's originally my mom's and it's just a simple wide belt probably considerably out of style many people would say in like everyday fashion but i always like the wide belt trend it made me feel skinny <laughs> okay next up is my shirt that i wore one for my kuroi tenshi outfit and so i don't think i've ever washed this shirt i've worn it three times in three different performances and i got this well actually it's originally from Goodwill, and it was one of those things that was like a dance uniform where it was a whole bodysuit. Like this had pants attached to it. And I cut it off because I really liked how it was sparkly and black, and I liked how the sleeves are like this. But I gathered it together with a safety pin, so it would be like a three-fourth sleeve instead of just a full sleeve. And so, and then I, I sewed on these beads, Mardi Gras beads, which I got from Gasparilla, and Gasparilla is a pirate festival in Tampa where there is a parade and people throw beads at you and apparently it has like a sexual background but now it's good family fun but regardless I collected a lot because I wanted to well I like to collect them because it was fun and also because I wanted to use them for something because I really like Mardi Gras beads I mean like I don't love them but I think they're cool and they're just like sparkly this is a black tutu this is from, I think, Spirit Halloween when they had a um, Halloween sale and it is the brand Dream Girl. <laughs> I don't do, honestly, I don't wash these things. I don't wash them. I probably should, but I don't. Like, I don't. So I'm just going to put this in the pile that's going to go back into the container that sits under my bed with all my tutu stuff. This is real. Next up is another tutu. This tutu is um, from Bodyline and it is so good. Like it just fits so well. Like it just it fits my body. Like it just looks good. Like really good. I got it when I studied abroad in Japan and I wish I bought more. Like I wish I bought them in every color. Like it's just, it just looks good, man. I just love like how it's like just the layering it's just a very good silhouette and I know people think body line is like cringy but oh no where can I buy a tutu just like this somewhere else uh oh okay so we have a guest this is my cat Pusheen named after the character Pusheen because I'm unoriginal but like when she was born in the litter she was like the chubbiest one and she looked like Pusheen the cat so like not like my username is original or anything, but I'll admit it. So anyways, this is a shirt that I wore. Um, <laughs> I wore this for the song Delightful. I really liked covering that song. I think I did pretty good. I couldn't hear the song at the beginning, so I was like totally offbeat because it was kind of quiet, but that's how the song is. 
But anyways, so yeah. But I like this shirt. I got this from Goodwill. <laughs> I like this shirt. I got this from Goodwill. I got it from Goodwill. I like that it looks like, it reminds me of a circus. Oh my gosh, the colors look so good here. I, I just, I really like the shirt. It's from Goodwill. I, I like the shirt. It's from Goodwill. So this is, needs to be washed. So it's going to go into the laundry pile. These are earrings that I made for my performance. They are <laughs> made with a bunch of stuff I found from the dollar store. So this is like a heart and um, they're from a pack of like kids heart plastic bracelets. Then I tied a silver um, ribbon and then I sewed on these Mardi Gras beads that I used for my shirt. And I tied on this like earring hook. You can get this stuff at like, at the blurry, whatever. You can get like an earring hook anywhere at the craft store. And that's how I made these earrings and I really like them and I safety pin them. They look so DIY and they're kind of smushed because I just dumped everything in here. But that's what these are and I made them. So cool. <laughs> Alright, next is my ever precious and worn a lot bow this bow i forgot where i got it was it from claire's in japan <laughs> um <laughs> listen i'll never shut up about how i went to japan i never will it's never gonna stop but this is i think from claire's let's say claire's i got in harajuku in claire's and i needed this accessory for when i did my dance group and my color was this shade of green like a lime green so we need to find accessories to wear that was repetitive and so this is what I got and I also got these clip-on earrings which I know were from Claire's. It just reminds me of when I was there and if you don't know what I'm talking about you can check out my 50 Japan vlogs to see what I'm talking about and I'm like I always wear it because it's like sentimental and I love sentimental things. Let's move on. This is a furry thing. <laughs> this is originally from when I made a skirt that was going to be a Mean Girls cosplay for Holiday Matsuri. I'm not kidding. I was supposed to do that with some people and it fell apart. We were going to do the Jingle Bell Rock thing. It never happened. So I had this hot glued onto a, a, a fake red pleather skirt. You know that Joann's material, Joann's fabric store. If anyone likes to buy fabric and does cosplays or costumes, at Joann's fabric they have like that pleather material. Yeah, that red one, I hot glued this on there and it easily peeled off so I could use it for something else. And so I like to use this as like, I use this as like a neck accessory. I really like it. Um, I like, I like the way this looks. Like, I like this thing on costumes. This is a glove. Um, it's like dirty. <laughs> I need to bleach this thing. This is from Claire's a long time ago when they had like a sale where it was 10 accessories for $10. This is from like middle school. This is my shirt that I wore when I covered the song Suki Suki Te Bakami Tai by Def Diva, which is basically a song about liking someone so much that you feel like a damn fool. And that's how I feel all the time about people. So I made this shirt for it. And I based this outfit off of an outfit that the original group performed in. And so I tried to make something that was similar to that because I really liked how they had these like strings of sparkly stuff hanging from their outfits. So I tried to copy it. And again, I used Mardi Gras beads, which I collected from the parade I was talking about. And I sewed it all onto this tank top and I really like the way it turned out. I just need to fix the straps of this because I feel like the way from the beads is like falling, making the straps weird. Anyways, yeah, this probably needs to be washed, but I'm still not done with it. I wanted to add, I have more beads, so I want to put it on the sleeves and I'm not going to add any more on the sides, but I want to do something to make it just a bit more fancy, but I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out. And all I did was I just individually hand stitched, what well, individually hand stitched, but I just hand stitched each thing. So that's what I did. And I've been loving the color blue lately. I never really liked that color as a kid, so I don't know what's going on with me. I really love beads for some reason. We've got another one of these. So this is like the bigger sized one. So the one of these things, I got different sizes. So this is like the L size. This tutu is from ACDC Rag and Harajuku. And I also got this from when I studied there and I was part of that dance, idol dance group. And um, this has such a good silhouette too like it just oh my god i love it i wish i got more colors because they had like pink and blue and all these different ones and like so many different shades i wish i just got all of them because they weren't too expensive i don't really wash this haha -ha, so i'm gonna put this in the tutu pile this is a bow that i was supposed to wear with my costume with the blue mardi gras beads 
but I just didn't put it in my head in time. And I also need to sew it onto a clip. I was gonna like clip it on, I was gonna like clip it in my hair with the clip that I was gonna use. Anyways, here it is. It will make another appearance at some other point. And actually, I used this bow originally from my um, wedding Nico cosplay. So like back at Holiday Matsuri in 2015, before Love Live, like right before Love Live reached like peak popularity, I did a cover of Snow Halation with other people uh, in the wedding cosplays that is that Muse has for this anime and Muse is the group that's in the anime. I'm trying to explain it for people that might not know what I'm talking about, okay? If you know what I'm talking about, you probably think this is so redundant. But basically this anime has a singing group and they have cosplays that are out there and they have wedding outfits. So we were gonna, we danced no halation in the wedding outfits. We didn't have everyone and not even everyone had the wedding outfit in time. But it was really cute, but the crowd just didn't get it. Like they didn't get it because we were just like, we did it right when the song was released, you know, but like the song had already been out, but it didn't really hit America. It, like now when you dance no halation, everyone goes crazy. But when I did it, the crowd just didn't get it. I was too early. I'm, I'm bitter. I don't know. But this is where this bow is from. You can see me dance that on my other YouTube channel. This is a belt. It hooks together but it kept unhooking when I was practicing it, so I just tied thread, and here it is. So these are some, oh man. <laughs> I like, it's like right when I rolled this off, I dumped it in here. So this is a stocking. This is from, I don't even know when. I probably bought this in middle school or high school. Like the thing is, when I was in middle school and high school, and everywhere in my life, I always bought stuff that I was like, one day I'm gonna use this for something. And lo and behold, I used it for something. So these are just like regular stockings. I think they had a bow that used to be attached to them. I think these are from Hot Topic. There was like a red bow that was attached to them. Um, but the, I took the bow off some time ago and now I finally have an outfit that I can wear these with. Actually, I wore this um, with an outfit that I put together for my very first anime convention. And there's a vlog of that. And there's also a video coming out soon, if not already, depending on when you're watching this video, of me reacting to that vlog. So definitely look out for that or watch that if it's out. But these are socks. I, I don't really, I don't know. Like, ugh, this is like, the striped sock thing is so nostalgic to me because it reminds me of like the emo days. And like, I always used to wear three four leggings like the leggings that were like this material but they were like to my calves and they were striped i always wore red and black ones oh look another accessory that makes me talk about my time in japan because i'll never shut the heck up about it this was from the time when i was in that dance group and had to find accessories and so this is from claire's and um i wear this a lot i just like how big it is like it's if you look at it it's just like a simple rubber band but then you have this this stuff around it it's just it's it's so cool but it's it's starting to get well no it's not starting to get raggedy but I better take better care of this thing it's very special to me I could you see how just bad this is like I really picked up everything and dumped it in here and then zipped it up and I left the place so this is a skirt that I wore for one of the outfits and this is, I got this in high school. This is from Charlotte Roost. If you don't know what that store is, it's kind of like a Forever 21, but it's, I don't know, it has like that fast fashion type of clothes, but um, I used to buy my stuff all there a lot when I was in high school. Well, not a lot, but like whenever I did buy clothes, I would buy clothes from there because it was cheap. I didn't think about like the quality, nor did I think about um, other stuff, but this skirt somehow lasted. And it's just a simple, I don't know, like leopard print. I mean, if you look at it, it's kind of outdated in style, but I like the silhouette that it has. And I don't know, I like I like the animal print and it's blue and I've been liking blue a lot lately. I don't know what's wrong with me, but yeah. So <laughs> um, here it is. I want to do something like I want to sew on some sparkles or put something on so there's more pizzazz. But for now, this is it, and we've we've been through a lot together, actually. A lot. <laughs> a lot of my stuff is old, okay? So, I don't think this needs to be washed. Another thing that you might not know about me is I don't like to wash my clothes a lot, because uh, the more you wash your clothes, the more, like, wear and like raggedy it becomes so like I try not to wash my clothes a lot to like preserve the quality because when it's tumbling and moving around in that uh washing machine and then you put it in the hot dryer it dries it all up so I barely used the dryer for my clothes but uh I'm just not gonna wash this 
I'll wait on it. These little poofy sleeves are from my Nico wedding cosplay, and I really like the way that they, okay, I made these things. <laughs> Listen, that's why there's a lot of fray. I didn't really look into cleaning it up before performing in it. So what I did was I took an elastic, and then I just sewed on this material. There's two materials. There's like this that's shiny and this that is um, not. I really, it wasn't calculated at all. So I made these poofy things for the cosplay because my cosplay that I got from the internet did not have these. So I had to make them myself. And um, I like the way that it looked with this outfit. So um, they'll be making a comeback after I clean up the loose threads. <laughs> they remind me of jellyfish. Also it gives me like a weird like European vibe. European people, does this make you think of your country? Continent? I'm a dumb American. Let me know in the comment sections below. <laughs> and speaking of plastic bags, okay, it's time for me to be contradicting. So I did in fact just dump my boots in here um, because I didn't feel like finding the bag. So I did put my shoes without a bag in my suitcase. Um, and I ranted about it earlier. But you know what? We're not perfect. This is an accessory pouch that doesn't have any accessories in here. What was in here originally? I don't remember, but this is from Goodwill. <laughs> but this is a go-go boot. And for my outfit, I made I safety pin, not safety pins. I used hair pins and I, I pinned some Mardi Gras beads on here. But then when I took the boots off, they all fell off. Or I don't know. So I'm just going to have to entirely redo them, which is fine. Um, these go-go boots are okay. I don't know how these scuffs get on here. I don't know. I got to clean them. Finally, we have, well, yeah, we have these boots, and I got these boots for this performance, and I always wanted, like, white platform boots or whatever, I guess. They don't have a zipper, so t putting them on is a bit hard, um, so the only lace. And I have these exact boots in black, and I really like the platform. They're perfect. I think that a lot of people that buy white cosplay boots probably have this as well. And I think they look really good on me, and I really like them. So I think this, I recommend these. I just typed white cosplay boots on Amazon, and that's how I found them. <laughs> the very, 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 very last thing here is a pack of baby wipes. Well, more specifically, flushable wipes by the Walmart brand Equate and I bought these in here because I thought I was going to be really sweaty but I ended up not actually being really sweaty um so they're here <laughs> now I can't close my suitcase because my cat is hanging out on the other side but anyways thanks so much for watching this video if you thought it was interesting let me know in the comment section below I noticed that a lot of videos that are more longer in length where the youtuber is just kind of talking about stuff um, seems to be popular these days so I want to try it out and also I do in fact like watching those videos I like to put them on when I'm like cleaning my room or if I'm doing something it's just nice to hear someone talk we live in a strange culture but I'm a part of it so I hope you liked it like I said follow my Twitter if you want to see me talk about stuff and also if you want to see pictures from the event that I'm talking about you can follow me on Instagram and also I repost it on Twitter as well. Thanks for watching and you'll see me in the next video of mine you decide to click on. Bye!